Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Tuesday afternoon, September 15th. We're looking at the SPY ETF's market profile here on Window Trader. Um, not a good day for me, uh, although although as we're climbing higher, um, I'm selling out calls that I had at, at a pretty sizable position. Um, when I was looking for the afternoon pullback low, and obviously, you know, shame on me once again, we know that these algos could go a lot further than I give them credit for, which is basically what they did. Um, I did add on. I couldn't really add on at the bottom because it was in my trading account where I limit myself. So that's why even though we're rallying very good, I am getting back a lot of what I'm, I lost. But unfortunately, because I couldn't really add down there like I wanted to, I am not going to get them all back. But I will go home with some. I'm peeling them off a little bit, believe it or not, as we go higher. Um, so bear with me as I do this video, and I'm, I can't believe that this thing rallied um, as much as it did uh, from the day's low. But on the flip side, I'm not surprised because when you see when we go over the video, what exactly transpired, right? Uh, what's happened before affects what happens next, and that's basically what's taking place right now. So what happened? We gapped higher. The market gaps higher. Holds the gap all day until L period, right? We'd say L and M have a mind of their own, right? L's, L's the uh, other, other uh, sibling or the other schoolmate that's naughty along with them. And it, all this was, look at this. We almost took out the day's high in H period. We missed it by seven ticks. We one time frame down since then. We went from H's high of 341.95 all the way down to 339.06. Okay? $3. We went down $3. That was just week longs. And I don't even think it was week longs as much. Because the market would had, um, we were rotational for a while. So I don't even think it was that long. This is just shorts pushing this down. We never could lower the park again. Nine for nine wide. That's what we end up. Value higher all day. Volume stunk on the way up, but it also stunk on the way down. We're at 50 million. We're going to be, you know, the average is 70. So, again, I'm comfortable, very comfortable with the position I have right now going home um, because I, I, I think, I think uh, again, it was overdone. M period will be huge again tomorrow. If we open inside of it, I'll be in trouble. If we open above it, we should trade at today's POC. I didn't do a trade. I made trades, so let's go over it. A period. A open gap high. I didn't really want to do anything. I took a short real quick against um, the overnight high for a quick scalp. Worked out. Made money. Then in uh, B period, came back down. Got to the opening. I'm like, I like it here. E even if it gets below the opening, I'll be long against the um, gap. Took a long. And again, these were tomorrow's expirations. A was a 343 put. B was a 340 call. Then we take out A's low and I get short in B period after. So I made, I did okay on the long. It went back up. Then we come down, take out A's low. I take a short. I'm like, okay, let's see if we get the gap. Obviously we didn't. Went back up. Um, I made, I made some, I bought 50 actually, made some on 30, but on the other 20 uh, or whatever it was, it might've been less than 20, gave it back. I, I broke, broke even a loss small. I didn't do anything then until... J, right? Or I, I'm trying to think. I period. I sat there and watched it. We went back and forth. We got smaller and smaller on the rotations. I was all lined up to take a put play. Once A took, uh, H took out A's high, I didn't think we'd get the weekly high just yet, especially since we were 9 for 9, uh, 8 for 8 wide at that time. So I would have been looking for 9 for 9 wide. I figured it would come back in nicely. Well, didn't happen. So instead of getting that short, <laughs> it flushes. I start a small, I, I bought the 340 calls that expire tomorrow. Took a small, again, small one that started around the opening, but then kept adding. 
obviously there was no afternoon pullback low once we got close to the uh, low of the day. That was out the window. But I certainly, certainly didn't expect this. I did expect this. Once we took out the low, I had really good feeling we would fill the gap. I added, took some off. So I was putting them, again, I was putting them on, taking them off. But the problem is, even though they ex don't expire till tomorrow, the more they went down, the more the time, the, the, the time decay, which is just crazy how much they decayed in like, you know, within an hour. But it's because the market, the tempo changed. So, uh, you know, I wasn't getting back where I was long. And then finally, the floodgates opened in L. Uh, I, I took another pro, a big long, but I'm Adam's high. It went lower. So, again, I took off a lot when we rallied now. Still down on the trade, down on the day. Nothing, nothing drastic by any stretch of the imagination now because the way that rallied there, I just I just sold some out up all the way up at 215, I believe, or 214. I had an offering at 215. I didn't even get it. So... I'm not in bad shape, lost money on the day. Now, shame on me, one time framing down since H is high. Is that stubborn? Yes. Actually, we go out with a trend day. We had single prints. We have a price probe. Even though we closed all the way up here, we have a price probe, right? Because L's, we don't know if it's accepted or not. And we actually have some small single prints. Very small. M's high in being 340, 40. So we have three cents of single prints. <laughs> So, um, pretty amazing. Anyway, let's go over destinations for tomorrow. So, the first one will be L's low. That's the price probe of 339.60. Then we have the single prints. They start at 340.41, get filled at 43. Nine wide up at 341.50. And today's high, 342.02. And then a weekly high, 343.53. Now, quickly, ES has a poor high today. And on the weekly. Are those going to hold? I don't know. But we also, right, balance rules. That was one thing that had me nervous the more we pushed down, right? Did we get to the top of a six-day balance, right? It's an $11 balance. Did we get to the top of it, fail, and now we're going to roll over? I certainly didn't think so with the indices up the way they were, POC not lowered, value higher. I certainly did not expect this. I wasn't buying this to look for the high of the day. I was buying it starting in I and down here, just looking to go back. Down here, I was just looking for the opening. And at best, puck. So it remains to be seen. Downside, 339.02. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> 339.02, today's low. 337.55, afternoon pullback from yesterday, 336.93 daily low, and 331 weekly low, filling the gap at 300.06, a 94-point gap. And then quickly on the charts, because I have to do a consult in about 15 minutes, monthly, one time framing up five months, we're back and forth through February's high, right now we're above it by a dollar, so who knows, right, we're above it by a dollar. Weekly is still one time framing down for two weeks. It's an inside week as of right now. And the daily, again, we had a bad tick. So the daily is showing 338.47. That is incorrect. I got to change it. The daily low is 339.02. I hope you had a great day trading today. Good luck if you're trading tonight. Have a great evening. And we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.